4 to 20 milliamp loop powered feedback can be installed at any time, even on a positioner already mounted on a valve in the field. Note, the positioner must be calibrated before feedback is installed. The feedback kit consists of three parts, the potentiometer, a drive gear, and a transmitter module. Start the installation by removing this indicator post. Then install a potentiometer by threading the mounting screw into the bottom of the housing. Check that the potentiometer is spring-loaded like this. Hold the potentiometer gear aside and install a drive gear over the cam nut. The locking screw should engage with this hole. There's a round socket in the bottom of the positioner housing. The bottom of the transmitter module fits in that socket, and this screw here is used to attach the module. The last step is to plug the potentiometer into the transmitter module with a CCW sticker facing up. Connect your loop calibrator to the module's terminal strip and turn it on. This is loop powered feedback, so remember your calibrator must provide 24 volt DC power as well as be able to read the feedback. You can see the end of the potentiometer shaft through the top of the transmitter module. It has a slot for your screwdriver. With 4 milliamp signal on the positioner, turn the potentiometer until the feedback reads just below 4 milliamps. Now we use the zero trim potentiometer to fine tune the feedback to read 4 milliamps. Now we can apply 20 milliamps to the positioner and open the valve. Use the span trim potentiometer to adjust the output to read 20 milliamps. Then we're going to reduce the signal on the valve to 4 milliamps and confirm that our feedback still reads 4 milliamps. Calibration is complete. Reinstall the indicator post in the indicator before replacing the cover.